How's it going everyone? In this video, I thought it would be fun if we found a scenario where we could retire at an early age on a software developer's salary. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Sam and I do a lot of videos related to the tech industry. So if you are new, please consider subscribing. I am also planning to post a lot more to Instagram. So I do have a link in that in my description. So hit me up with a follow. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pick a target age to retire. Now in the United States, the average age of retirement is around 65 years old. So if we want to pick something that's earlier than that, but still realistic, I've decided to pick a target age of 50. We also need to pick a starting age. Now, 75% of my viewers are under the age of 35. So let's go ahead and pick a round number like 30. So basically we need to go from 30 to 50, or we have 20 years to accumulate enough wealth to retire at the age of 50. So if we head on over to our browser here, so if we go to the average life expectancy in the United States, we see that it's 78.69 years. So let's just round that up to 80. So if we go to our calculator and we say, okay, we have 30 years to live and we say, how much do we want to spend per month? Let's say like 5,000, I think would be a good amount. So $5,000 a month, 12 months equals $1.8 million. So we need $1.8 million in order to retire at age 50. So say we're working as software engineers right now in the Bay Area. Let's look at what the salaries are like. So say we work at a company like Facebook. Uh, if we go over to Glassdoor, we see that the salaries here are about um, 155,000 total for a Facebook engineer. So let's just say 150,000. So if we go over to our calculator and we say, okay, we're making $150,000 and we're making that for 20 years, right? That's gonna give us $3 million, cool. So one thing we need to take into account are taxes. Unfortunately, they take a lot of them out and especially here in California, um, I think it's about a third for taxes. So let's say, you know, one third of $3 million is a million. So we're gonna be left with about $2 million which is still not bad, right? So basically from 30 to 50, we made $2 million, congratulations. Now, one thing you might be saying is, okay, yeah, it's really not that easy to get a job at Facebook or any job that's 150K. Um, but to be honest, first of all, retiring early isn't gonna be easy, otherwise everyone would do it. So, I mean, there has to be some challenges here. And really 150 for, you know, say by the time you're 30, um, if you're coming out of school, you're gonna have like eight years of experience. Um, and we're also assuming that you're not getting any raises here. Um, so I think like an average of 150 is very realistic. Now, one thing that we didn't take into account is, okay, at 50, we're gonna have made $2 million. However, from 30 to 50, we're gonna have spent money throughout that time, right? So that's something that we haven't accounted for yet. So let's go ahead and figure that out. So we need to figure out what our monthly expenses are. So let's say rent here in the Bay Area is about, you know, if you get your one bedroom apartment, it's gonna be about three to even $4,000. Let's say we wanna be a little frugal and we get a roommate. So we're, with rent and utilities, we're paying about $1,500. We're gonna spend another $1,000 on food. We're gonna say, you know, maybe you have a $500 amount car payment. And then let's just say we have $1,000 for just anything miscellaneous. So this comes out to $4,000 a month. So if we say $4,000, times 12 months times 20 years. Well, we just spent a million dollars. So if we go back here from this 30 to 50, we're gonna have $1 million to show for it. So now we're short $800,000, but not to worry, we're gonna fix this. If we go down to monthly, we're gonna spend an extra thousand dollars and we're gonna just put that in investments. So now we're gonna be spending $5,000 a month, which now puts us at $1.2 million. So right now we're actually short a million dollars. So how are we gonna make up a million dollars? Well, since we are investing this, let's go over to figure out how much we can make investing a thousand dollars a month. So if we go to this website here that has a compound interest calculator, um, we need to figure out what our initial investment is. So there's this other website here um, that calculates the median retirement savings by age. So if we go down here, we see that for someone who's in their 30s, they're gonna have about $45,000. So let's just round that up to 50,000. So if we go here, we have $50,000. Our monthly contribution is $1,000. The length of years is gonna be 20 years. And now we need an estimated interest rate. So if we go over to this website here and we look at the 10 year chart of the Dow Jones, which is pretty much what tracks the entire stock market, 
Um, if we go to the last 10 years, we see that, I mean, it fluctuates every year, but the expected average gains that you're going to get is about 12%. So if we go over here and we say, okay, we're going to be getting 12% gains and that 12% gets compounded annually. So if we go ahead and calculate this, we see that we have $1.3 million. <laughs> so pretty good, right? Now this, the money that you gain will be taxed, which is about a million dollars. So we're going to lose about 300,000. So we're going to make about a million dollars there, right? Cool. So we have 1.8, right? And now we have enough to retire. Now, another thing to mention, that's a good thing is once you hit 50, you're not all of a sudden going to take out your 1.8 million, right? This is still going to sit and ride in your investments. So maybe from, you know, once you hit 50, you're just going to be taking out like $5,000 a month. And the rest of that is just going to be growing and growing. So not only do you have enough to retire at 50, you're actually going to, your money is going to grow exponentially throughout your retirement years. So what are some of the risks that we could run into here? Well, first of all, the stock market could crash really at any time, right? We haven't had a real crash in about 12 years. And although you never know, it's pretty unrealistic to think that we're not going to have a crash in the next 20 plus years. Another thing is that you might get married and end up getting divorced and end up losing a lot of money there. The divorce rate is about 50%, so you never know. You might end up having several kids. Uh, the average cost of a child from zero to 18 is about $250,000. So if you have two kids, that's half a million dollars right there. Other things that aren't really risks but are facts are, first of all, inflation. A million dollars today will not be worth nearly as much in 20 years. Just as 20 years ago, a million dollars was worth a lot more. So these are definitely things that you have to take into account. One thing that could actually help you out is living at home. Um, I know that in the United States, it's kind of weird to live at home, but it, really in most other countries outside of the US, it's kind of weird to move away from home until you get married. Here in the US, if you know, say you're 30 years old and you're living at home, people might call you a loser. But to be honest, I'd rather be a loser with an extra three grand in my pocket every month. So, I mean, if it's, if it's something that's possible for you, I would definitely recommend that you at least consider it. So in conclusion, is this really worth it? And in my opinion, it's not. To go this route means that you're probably going to be penny pinching most of your life. And it's just a very defensive strategy. And I don't really think even though you I mean, it will be nice to retire early. Um, you're not really living. You know, my recommendation is, you know, be a little bit more offensive. Um, try and maybe start a side hustle or start a business, maybe increase your income more rather than decrease your spending. But as you saw in the video, if you do take the strategy that I just went over, it's definitely doable. So, I mean, it's really just up to you guys. Uh, maybe maybe you're fine. You, maybe you're like, you know, I'm a very frugal person. I don't need to spend a lot of money. I'd rather just not work. And mostly, you know, this was just hypothetical. It was just for fun just to see like if this was even possible. So, yeah, I mean, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a comment down below telling me, you know, is this a strategy that you would consider doing? But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.